I know there are people whose past makes them feel like an abandoned house in a perfect neighborhood. People with guilt that make second-guessing smiles second nature and often feel like they don't have reasons to wake up in the first place. So the girl sitting at the front of the classroom, with a sleeve full of tattoos, a tongue that speaks trust as a foreign language, but with two eyes that want to believe in second chances, this is for you. I used to look at your arm and wonder if you regretted your tattoos. If the permanence of the ink made you feel uncomfortable. If only I had known that you have a past that makes trust harder than staying sober. Been in a relationship with boys that made you familiar with an empty side of the bed. If I had known that the last bit of faith you had in men left when your father did, then I would have understood that at least tattoos can't make forever sound like an empty promise. Come on. See, I am not a stranger to feeling alone either. Vanishing is a magic trick that I don't want to see happen in this gift of words. It is just a line of defense. A giant wall decorated in metaphors for strangers to admire. We are not that different. We are the striking similarities between ink to skin and ink to paper. A relationship with poems and tattoos. Both experts at turning pain into something beautiful. The only difference is that I'm only brave enough to wear my tattoos for three minutes at a time. But you make of art that find peace and art together. We can burn down the previous parts of this book as long as the next chapter starts with you. I will be here until looking for answers becomes a bad habit that we have finally grown out of. If you let me, I will show you that tattoos are not the only things that will hug you forever. The first time I held you while you cried was the first time I found faith in silence. It felt like your tears stopped time. We sat on that floor for hours, and this was the first time I learned to trust someone. See if I could, I would go back to the last time you didn't like what you saw in the mirror. Hold your hand and have you see yourself in my eyes until we understand that glass can't reflect beautiful the same way human can. Not born privilege. It's easy to smile when the sun is shining, but you, you are laughter during a thunderstorm. Despite the people that are no longer a part of your life, I have seen a childlike happiness in your eyes, and you cannot fake that type of innocence. See the heights that you have climbed to overcome those obstacles have left you with a sky-like beauty, a face that has been in the stars, and you have the constellations to prove it. You have been on your own for two years now, and the line between independent and lonely often blurs, but if you ever feel like you don't have a home, I want you to know that you can keep me as an extra set of skin just in case you ever feel uncomfortable in yours. I just ask that you save me a space above your chest and let me become your favorite tattoo. Oh. <laughs>